Bonjour, Bonjour, ça va Ça va bien, et toi Très bien, merci. Oh. Et euh, entschuldigung, ich spreche kein Deutsch. How was it for you um, to speak with uh, the French accent at home and with at, on the set? I loved it. Um, I mean, I, I always love speaking in different accents and I've done, you know, <clears throat> East Coast American accents, Southern American accents. I did a, a, a Bruce Willis American accent um, in Looper, but uh, I'm never, uh, I've never tried an accent of, um, you know, someone from outside of the U.S. And uh, I've always had a, a crush on French language, French culture, French movies, and and um, so this was really fun for me. We should actually start with the question that is the main question of the, of the movie at, at the beginning. Why? Why? Pourquoi? Pourquoi? For what? Um, yeah, you know, Philippe never answers this question why. And uh, I think the reason is because you can't put into words something like this. And, and the closest I can come to trying to explain it for myself is, is it's sort of like love. You know, when you love somebody, You can't really explain why. You can say things that you like about that person, but you can't really put into words why you love them. It's something beyond words. And Philippe describes his relationship to the Two Towers as a love affair. And, uh, and I think it's like that. It's, it's, it's beyond words. And people ask me, why do you risk death? For me, this is life. Welcome to New York. Anything to declare? I'm going to hang a high wire between the two towers of the World Trade Center and work on it. <laughs> Good luck. In a time where everyone, everyone is doing a superhero movie or talking about superhero movies, why did you do The Walk? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I love the fact that this is it's a true story and he did something that's, that feels impossible. Um, but he made it possible and he's not a superhero. He's not an alien from out of space. He doesn't have any magic powers. He's a real person just like us. And, and I think that's inspiring because we all have those things in our lives that we would love to do, but that seem impossible. And here's an example of someone who did it. And uh, I think that's, that's a story worth, worth telling and celebrating. Yeah, the movie is a love story, I think, but to, to what? Is it a love story to the towers, to art, mm -hmm. to New York? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, what kind of love story is this movie? Yeah, all of the above. I, I think it is. It's an homage to, like you say, to these two towers, to New York City, um, and yeah, to, to just creativity for the sake of it, for the love of it. You know, this is it's like a heist movie, really, except they're not stealing money. They're just creating a work of art. Why? It's like the same question. You, you ask why, just because, you know, because he loves it. So it's a love story. No, where I was going or what I was doing, I was always searching, looking for the perfect place to hang my wire. Whoa. I need you to help me pull this off. I got just the guys. Now it starts. Come on, make it snappy, I'm in a red zone. I'll figure out how to get the wire across. <laughs> I think we should wait. No! I had the slight feeling that Ben Kingsley had the first time really, really enjoying his, his role. So how was it with you two? I, I had the feeling you were like doing a lot of improv, but I mm -hmm. don't really know. So how was it, the scenes with Ben Kingsley? Yeah, it was Papa fantastic. Rudy. Yeah, Papa Rudy. Yeah, working with, uh, with Sir Ben was really great because, you know, in the movie he plays this character, Papa Rudy, who's a real life guy that was a mentor to Philippe Petit. And, uh, and I admire, um, Mr. Kingsley's work as an actor so much, there was a parallel there that, you know, he felt like a mentor to me and, and he was really generous to, um, to kind of treat me that way. And why should we watch The Walk in theaters and not at home or on a little screen? Sure, well, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, watching a movie in 3D, 
Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I don't like most movies in 3D. I but, don't too. But this movie, um, it was conceived in 3D. I think most movies, the, the 3D visual effect is sort of a gimmick that's slapped on at the end. Mm -hmm. This movie, it's baked into the very concept, the idea, and at the beginning of the process, Robert Zemeckis, the, the director of this movie, um, came up with this story as something that needed to be told in 3D. And every shot that he set up, I listened to him speaking with his cinematographer about you know, how they were composing it for 3D. It's designed that way. And um, I think, frankly, it's, it's the best use of 3D in a movie that I've ever seen. My head is full of doubts. But when it's time to step on the wire, I don't know if I'll be able to take my first step. Your heart will tell you what to do. The man is obviously crazy. Are we just here to watch him die? This isn't a game, Philippe. One mistake out there, and you're going to die. What does the carrots are cooked means to you? <laughs> the carrots are cooked? <laughs> Uh, so that's an expression that basically means there's no turning back. Uh, the carrots are cooked, we have to move forward. And uh, I think there's, there's something really admirable about that because we all in our lives, I think, like to have the option of like, yeah, okay, but maybe I don't want to do it. Maybe I just, I'm going to leave myself an escape route just in case that I don't really want to live up to my commitment. But uh, to, to go forward past the point of no return, those are sort of the moments that, that life is made of, I think. The carrots are cooked. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck with the walk. Thanks very much. Oh.